and we're live. Awesome. There's our people who are here. Yay! Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey, guys. Welcome this <laughs> evening to um, Middle of the Magic Travel. Uh, wait, this is the Middle of the Magic <laughs> Travel. I've already messed it up. This is what happens when Henry goes out of town. Henry, I hope you're watching. I hope you're watching right now. Um, but hey guys, here we are. This is Disc Nerds Life. And as you can see, my sidekick is not with me today. Uh, the dynamic duo is on hiatus because Henry is out traveling. But here I am, Rita. And I have two very, very important people in my life with me. I have Sarah and Lauren. Who are Hello. Say hi. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> I'm seeing the comments, ladies, and, the, and they're coming in, and Nicole has said hi. But hi, Nicole. Nicole. Tonight, <laughs> we're going to be talking about Disney Dining Plan. Oh, uh, my mom Brandy just said hi, so yay. Make sure you guys are sharing out. Oh, he it, Henry is watching, but he's driving. Oh, no, don't drive off the road. <laughs> so um, the, the guy who's with him, Adam, his co-worker, his partner in crime, is, um, I guess, <clears throat> uh, relaying everything. So, yay! Thank you for watching, Henry. Um, anyway, tonight we're going to be talking about the Disney dining plan, but before we get into that, we have some things that we want to share with you. And I'm just going to kind of lead the way. And Sarah and Lauren, thank you for joining me, and feel free to jump in and comment at any time. Those of you guys who are watching right now, make sure that you are sharing out this live feed, I am going in right now myself into Facebook and I'm going to see that the event is going, maybe. Well, maybe not. My phone's not that fast right now for some reason. But go ahead and share that with your friends. Have everybody come in because we do have a very exciting announcement tonight to share with y'all. So... <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so you just guys have to hang on for the announcement. You have to hang on. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the poll. Um, some Fridays I like to add a poll to um, the middle of the magic uh, business page, my business page, about just different aspects of things, questions I may get from clients or just from friends out there. Hey, Scott, thanks for joining us. Um, but, yeah, so the poll this week was about where to spend your fourth day at Disney World. I think, ladies, you can agree with me um, here, I'm sure, on this, as many clients as you had. Kind of the average ticket is a four-day base ticket, for the most part. I mean, you know, the, yeah. it is kind of across the board. And oftentimes, I have the question from clients, particularly with young girls, and they say, well, I guess really boys too, but they say, hey, um, I want to go to the Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom, but I'm really not sure what to do that fourth day. Should I go to Epcot or should I go back to the Magic Kingdom? So I put that poll out there and um, <clears throat> I was actually kind of surprised that most people said Epcot. What do you guys think? Um, Epcot. Yeah, I think if you've never been <laughs> in the parks before, yeah, I th or if you haven't been in a while and you just, or you're not going to go again for a while, yeah, you should totally do Epcot. It's, it's definitely worth that fourth day. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I think people are missing out when they don't go to Epcot. I think that they yeah. they think that it's not for young kids, um, but I think it is. Uh, you know, that I know, like, you know, there is some hikes restrictions on a couple of attractions there, but we are getting um, the new family, I understand, and family roller coaster, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yep. Heather Wilkerson says Epcot also. Yes, and Kelly's yeah. <laughs> Hey, lots of people joining yes. tonight. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I think Epcot too, for sure, especially if you want to do the Frozen Ever After. Um, but there's a lot more to it than that. I mean, you know, but that's what yeah. I mean, we can we can tell everybody what they need to do. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Shout out to Lauren for the rose gold ears, guys. Did you guys see her ears? Yep. Fancy. <laughs> it is the most sought after ro rose gold ears. Yeah, for they're sure. all over now. You can find them pretty easily. But before Christmas, it was it was a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. when we were down there on our last trip during Christmas, they popped up at Animal Kingdom, and oh. uh, I grabbed a pair, and then we had gone back to the Animal Kingdom later in the week, and they were all gone. You couldn't yep. go anywhere. Yep. I spent a whole week, the week after Thanksgiving, looking for them. I went into every store, every park, Disney Springs, everywhere. Could not find them. Could not find them. 
it was, oh, you just missed them, or we had them an hour ago. And it was just like I was, I couldn't find them. My daughter walks into the store about three weeks later. She walks in, and maybe 10 minutes she comes up to me, and she says, I found them. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's just good at that kind of thing. <laughs> so. They're awesome, though. Minnie got a pair, and I've kind of always thought, well, maybe I should get a pair. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they're really cute. Oh, I mean, Brandy like says them. she needs some Beauty and the Beast ears. Yes. Brandy, she's a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. She's a client of mine. Um, but also, Brandy, you know, go to Etsy, and I bet you can find some custom Beauty and the Beast type um, of ears, something a little different, not necessarily something you would get yeah. at the parks. There's a lot of people who do ears out there that are really awesome. I can't. Yeah. I was oh, super yeah. I've seen tons of really cute, cute, cute ears on people that did not come from the parks. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have anybody you can share out that might have some. I don't have an Etsy shop yet. Yet. How about yours? That I'm thinking of. Okay. Well, let's move on to Disney news. All right. So um, this week we got a lot of information about what's going on at Disney Summer. And it's called the Incredible Summer. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. One Incredible Summer. Yes. Okay. So what are you guys most looking forward to for this Incredible Summer? Sarah? Oh, boy. The thing I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah. Well, it's not for me, but I'm really excited that they they opened up booking for the Incredibles, um, the child care after hours over at the Contemporary, where they have their own like themed kids night out. Mom and dad can drop off the kids and then go to the parks for a couple hours, and it looks so cool. But it's not for me; it's for kids. So, I get you know, it's it's exciting. The idea of getting to to have a safe place for your child to play for a couple hours, you don't have to worry about it. But I don't get to experience the fun of it. I I have to go to the parks with the other grown-ups and the kids we get to play. So that's actually, I think that's fantastic. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I really hate that we're going to be down there in July, and Amelia turns four in August because I was hoping to try it out, but it's not going to happen. Oh, uh, that's okay. Hopefully, it'll be popular enough that. You can try on a on a later trip. Yes, like I'm hoping. Don't miss out on the chance for your kids to have some fun, yeah. some special fun. And I am going in October now, so hey. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. There you go. <laughs> All right, Lauren, what are you looking for more uh, forward to this summer? Well, is it okay? Sure. But it's still incredible related. Okay, so we've actually we're getting tickets and we're going to watch The Incredibles. Um, the weekend that it releases down in Disney Springs and um, the the theater they have there at Disney Springs is fantastic. So we're going to eat at um, at one of the Disney Springs really great dining places. And then we're going to go hit the Incredibles movie. And I want just a little side, um, a side thing that we really love in Magic Kingdom is the Incredibles dance party. Yeah. It's so much fun. <laughs> We'll stand, you know, out there, and it's it's so awesome. They'll do the what is it, the shuffle? Is it the Cupid shuffle? And they say, everybody clap your hands, and the whole yeah. park just goes. It's just it's a hoot. It's it's a lot of fun. Adults and kids, Sarah, and adults can. Yes, you know. no, I know that show's <laughs> been on hiatus for a few months, and it's coming yeah. back, yes. and I'm excited because that is a super cool character interaction. It is. It's it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh, hang on, just one second. I'm sure. sending in a message, Scott. Yes. We are live. Um, you might want to refresh your page or come in and come out. So, not sure why that's happening. Um, hold on just a second. Let me send that message to him. All right. Um, I'm obviously looking forward to um, Toy Story Land. I mean, that's why I'm going this summer. I'm really not a Disney World park goer during the summer. But I'm absolutely going down to the summer for Toy Story. Land. But there was actually, um, Excuse me. <laughs> this is one that got announced this week, at least I think it was this week, that I wasn't aware of. But there's going to be over in Epcot, the Guardians of the Galaxy, awesome mixtape or mix live. It's a live music that's all going to be based on the music from Guardians of the Galaxy. It's going to be, <gasps> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's have you seen music. the one they have at Disneyland? <laughs> Oh. They have one at Disneyland outside of the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. They have like a live dance party. So it's yeah. going to be similar to that, and the, which is pretty cool because the characters are there and you can yeah. same thing. You can interact with them. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And that music is awesome. And by the way, that Guardians of the mm -hmm. Galaxy ride, um, 
they absolutely need to do that in Disney World. And I can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth, but that is the best attraction I have ever been on. It is amazing. I'm telling you, I would ride it more than I would ride Flights of Passage. Just really? Like, yes. Really? Oh. Yeah. That's high stakes right there. Well, it's like one big party. I mean, you're blasting <laughs> some of the best music, you know. I mean, I literally, my, my daughter probably thought I was crazy. She's probably thinking, here I am with my crazy mom. She's like, it's a big music party. I mean, as soon as they, <laughs> the Rocket plugs that music up and it goes, I'm just like, <laughs> you're talking about the one they turned the tower of terror into the guardian that one yeah yes. really yes wow okay i'm gonna have to get to disneyland just to ride that you should <laughs> and that's a lot because flight flight of passage is an awesome oh yeah ride. right now oh, it's my favorite. gosh yeah i don't Great think anything too. wins out on flight yeah it yeah. really is awesome flight, flight of passage is one it, it it's probably the best attraction that i have been on um oh, because it does take your breath away it's you feel like you're flying um, yes. But Guardians of the Galaxy, just as for attractions, for attraction's sake, the theming, the fun, the excitement, I don't know. I could ride it over and over and over. Oh, I'm excited. That's good. That's great. I can't wait to try that. Yeah. It's it's really cool. It's really cool. So that was something I was uh, excited about. Now, Henry told me, just to pull him into the conversation, even though he's not here, Henry told me he's really excited about the summer nights at Typhoon Lagoon, which it's going to be like glow nights. Oh, yeah. The glow party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Light up the water park at night. That sounds actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. We've, we've kind of toyed around with the idea of doing it. Not sure if we're going to do it yet because I still have the young one who I'm not, don't think we'll really get into that. Yeah. Um, so Brandy asked which one was Flight of Passage. Who wants to take that question? Oh, my. Okay, Sarah, I'll let you have it, but. No, I was going to say, you should have it. You're having this visceral response I love to it. it. I, I, I like the movie. The movie's good that it's based on the flight, the Avatar. What is that movie called? I can't remember the movie. The Avatar? Yeah. It's a good movie. It's nice. It's, it's beautiful. But the ride, it's, I, I've told people that Disney is so good about storytelling and taking you and inserting you into this world. This ride, more than any ride that they have ever done, does exactly that. I, it, I mean, I'm easy to believe anyway, but I completely suspended my my reality and, and I was immersed into this. And you're flying and the smells and the sounds and the, I just, oh, it's so good. It's really, really good. I love the whole thing. Yeah, you I hope really that it's, do it's feel your, like you're there. <laughs> I do. Yeah. And every time I ride it, it's just, it's just exhilarating. And I love sharing it with people who've not been on it yet. Like they're in the same little, you know, quadrant you're in and, and hearing them and, oh, it's, it's just so good. It's, I love it. hundred percent agreed. Yeah. Brittany, <laughs> it is the not to be missed attraction, um, which don't oh, worry, yeah. we will work very hard to get you fast passes for that. So no yeah. worries on that. Yes. Yeah. All right. They so. are hard to come by still, but they can be had. Yeah. If you work with a professional, yes. Right. That's why you get somebody one, like one of us, right? That's right. <laughs> All right. So just another thing that came out, Donald's Dino Bash. He's pretty much taking over Dino Land over in Animal Kingdom. And we're going to get to see a few more characters out. But there's also going to be a dance party. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I think that's about it. So there's two other things that were announced this week. One is like the ultimate, I think, for all of us. Uh, true Disney, like we go every year kind of people. And then the other one is like, eh, not so great of an announcement, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> so um, the first one is the Food and Wine Festival. We got the dates for Food and Wine. Yay! We always anticipate. We're just, you know, when's it going to be, you know? And, yep. and then what, what music's going to come with it? And what are the marketplaces going to be? And or, do they call them marketplaces during Food and Wine also, or do they call them something else? I think it's still called marketplaces. I, so. I, I always call it outdoor kitchens for some reason. I don't know why that just got. It's not That's actually what they outdoors, but it's like yeah. a booth, but it's a building. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. Marketplace, global marketplace. That's what you're thinking of. They called the global marketplaces. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I call them kiosks. <laughs> well, they are. Uh, that's that's what it is. Yep. So, yeah, we're the really place, excited. The delicious that. stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yummy spots. <laughs> the place where I can walk off the calories of all the yes. things that I eat. Yes. Yep. So, we got the dates. Those are uh, August 30th through November 12th. It's 75 days. 
So make sure that you get in contact with one of us and we can help you get that all planned out. And actually, we're already making dining plans for um, yep. September. Am I right? Yep. Yes. Um, yes. So if you're wanting to go uh, during fall, your fall break, right now is the time. I've got, I know I've got a couple of fall break guests and we've got 20 days until it's time for us to book their dining. Yep. Yep. So it is yeah. time. Planning ahead. We are this already into for- September. That's right. Yep. Yeah. I just made, I've just made dining for Rose and Crown for September 8th. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's time. All right. And then the last thing, and we're only going to talk just like 30 seconds on it. <laughs> the last thing is that Disney, after, uh, for any reservations that are made, correct me, ladies. 21st. After the 21st. So, if they make a reservation mm-hmm. on the 21st, they're still good, right? Oh, I don't know about on the 21st. I don't know on the 21st. I, I would say okay. make it by the 20th at the latest. Yeah. So you want to make, guys, if you want to go down to Disney, if you're driving to Disney, make your reservation by March 20th because after reservations after March 20th, they will start charging for parking. Overnight. Yeah, overnight parking at your your resort. And this is really no big deal, y'all. It's what every other resort in Orlando does from Universal to off-property, whatever. This is a common thing, and Disney's decided to jump on that bandwagon, and we're cool with that. But just so you know, if you're on the fence about booking your vacation, do it now. So you do can it now. give yourself a few And it doesn't have to be, like, you know, right? I mean, you can through September or through the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah. So do it. So if you're wanting to go to Christmas, book room only to next there. year. Yeah, you can book 499 yeah. days in advance your hotel room. So yep. if you know for sure that you want to come, you can get it in now. Yep. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and book a room for four. What, what are you book- getting ready for? Well, wait, which one? <laughs> <laughs> in, tw- in 2019, there's a big bi-coastal opening of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Now, we don't have the dates. Yeah, no. <laughs> don't tell anyone. We don't have the dates yet for the opening, but we do know it's coming. So if you are plotting a, pl- a a time, you're thinking maybe you're trying to figure out your vacation time, you can go ahead and put a deposit for a room and hold one for yourself. We do anticipate in all of 2019 that a lot of the hotels will be full. It oh, yeah. will not be as easy as it has been in past years to get into your favorite hotel. And you don't want to wait until last minute to get your vacation booked. If you put your deposit, you can always change your travel date and you can always cancel it if you have to. Yep. But you don't want to miss out on having a hotel room. So that's what Rita's talking about. She might need a hotel room so she can go see some Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I know I want to go. Oh, yeah. man, do I, want to go. I cannot wait. <laughs> I I'm telling you, it's gonna be really, so good. I really do think um, this week I'm going to go ahead and sit down and, and figure out, you know, when I think my fall break will be because it's been, been pretty consistent over the years. And I'm just going to go ahead and book. Um, even if we don't know the date, like you said, you can cancel it. You can always change it or cancel it. But if you wait, you might not be able to get the room you want. Yeah. And, and we've kind of learned that here recently, um, that some of those rooms are already booking up and I, you know, I, I didn't really believe Disney when they said that that would happen, but it's happening. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So with that said, let's go ahead and do our big announcements. Now? Yes. Okay. Let's sit that way while people are watching. You can go ahead and put in that keyword. Oh, so, that's fantastic. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm so excited. This is breaking news, breaking Disney news. Nobody else has this scoop besides us. So this is exclusive to Middle of the Magic Travel. You guys are getting this information because it's coming directly from us. The general public doesn't know yet that we are planning a big special event coming in the end of February and the beginning of March from 2019 and it's called mom's day in the parks and we are planning a special long weekend of events that do not include bringing your children. I know, I know it's shocking. (laughs) Yeah. See, that's a little bit more. A lot of people have done Disney with kids. It is for sure one of the top family destinations and that's great. However, this particular event is going to be celebrating those of us who work very hard at putting everyone else's needs first for people who don't tend to take vacations for themselves. And if you come without your children, as I learned recently in January and February, I was down for some training without my children. And it's a really different experience to go. 
as an adult. So we are creating an entire long weekend of events centered around adults only. It is called Mom's Day in the Parks because moms are the hardest working folks we know. But of course, anyone who's over the age of 18 is welcome to join us. You don't have to be a mom and you don't have to be a parent at all if you don't want to. We have a lot of cool special events lined up. We have a lot of goodies to give away. We have some super exclusive experiences. They're only going to be two people who are booking this event. What Rita is talking about is flower. So if you go to the comment section on this feed and you type the word flower, it's going to send you a link for some more information for Mom's Days in the Parks for 2019. So you guys got to know before the rest of the world. We haven't announced it yet. There's no information first to hear. So uh, we will have some more information next week, some more details for you. But right now you can put flowers into the comment section. No, flower. Flower. One flower. One single flower, yeah. And it will send you the link for that information. So, yay! I Go get the fashion. details. Just, Contact your favorite Middle of the Magic travel planner. They have all the info for you to get you booked before we open the general public. So, before be so the rest great. of everybody knows, <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yes, so I just put in the word flower, and it just popped up in my messenger on Facebook. Um, uh, oh, that's awesome. We're getting some people who have some interest. This is going to be a really great event. And, yes, it's, and like she said, exclusive items, 100% exclusive items or events or experiences to go along with this. And you will learn more about those as time comes. We're going to kind of keep some things secret. Yay! Plans. I am beyond excited about, um, uh, this event I just I can't even but yes so come back next week and watch us we're gonna have more details too yes, absolutely oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's get in we are already uh where's my timer I we're 22 minutes into the show and we haven't even started our topic and this is a that's really okay good topic that's okay we got it we got it all right so, who so nobody I, loves to talk about food more than us I mean yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> Disney food. All right. All right. So our topic tonight is the Disney dining plan. What's hot? What's not? It's not That's hot. hot. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to do it justice or not. I'm smiling so much. My face hurts. That's good. That's hot, too. <laughs> That's, um, that's what this y'all are fun. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're planning on talking about. The Disney dining plan is often uh, something that we, as travel planners, we like to add on for. Well, we we usually suggest that you add this on to your vacation for a number of reasons, and so we wanted to talk about our top three reasons why we think that you should um, get the Disney dining plan now. What I'm going to tell you is that we all have our own reasons. We have not uh, talked about our reasoning of why you should get the dining plan system. Things may overlap. They may not. Um, so we're going to hear some ideas. And what we want to do is we want to hear why you think you should get the dining plan. And also, please make sure that you're putting your questions into the comments, and we will answer those as soon as we can. Um, so anything you have in, about the dining plan as we begin talking, Again, throw those questions out there or your comments. So let's just go ahead and start with talking about what the dining plan is really quickly. Um, the Disney dining plan, the Disney regular dining plan, is um, what we would add to your vacation, and it includes one table service meal, one counter service meal, two snacks, and Lauren, you want to show your mug, and a one resort refillable mug per person per night of your stay. There, there are other options for dining plans. There is a quick service dining plan, which is only quick service meals, but the same options. And then there's a deluxe dining plan, which I have done. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. That's pretty awesome. It's um, on my bucket list. Yeah, it's, it, it, yeah. I, I learned a lot on that and that's another whole nother show, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that that's the same thing. And then for 2018, you have specialty drinks added and that includes non-alcoholic drinks for the young ones. And those 21 or older can add an adult beverage. I'm sure from a select menu, I have not been down yet to experience the dining plan for 2018. So I'm not sure what that exactly looks like. Anyways. It's different at each. Yeah. It's different at each restaurant. What's available and what's included. 
as everybody knows, not every restaurant at Walt Disney World carries a wide selection of adult <clears> beverages. <throat> so it is limited to where you are and what you're. Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about um, our top three reasons again to do the regular Disney dining plan, right? Okay, so um, as a teacher, I usually have a random selector that picks the person who will go first. <laughs> but I'm not in my classroom. <laughs> so um, who wants to go first? Sarah. I'll go first. Okay, my number one reason <laughs> to get the Disney dining plan is dessert. Okay. Good. Because oh, when yeah. you sit down, you get dessert every time you sit down. So if you were on the fence about whether you're going to order it or not, you don't have to make that decision. They made it for you. You're getting a dessert and it's good. Yes. So yeah. that's my number one reason to get the Disney dining plan. <laughs> that's a good one. I didn't even think about that one. Oh yeah. Dessert at every meal. Yeah. 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 Dessert at, dessert at every meal is really nice. And you know, there's yeah. some really stinking good desserts out there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Creme brulee. Yeah, then you end up trying stuff you may have not wanted to, you know, you didn't know that you were going to be kind of full, and then you get to experience some things that are that are surprisingly amazing. Yeah. I have definitely had some wonderful surprise desserts due to the dining plan, so. And I think that's kind of the key, though, what you said is normally you may not have gotten the dining mm -hmm. dessert, but with the dining plan, hey, it comes It's with already it. paid for. You already got it, so you might as well get some. Oh, yeah, Brandy just said the gray stuff exclamation point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the gray stuff is so yeah. good. Yes, yes. definitely. Yeah. It's on the chocolate cupcake at uh, Be Our Guest. And it, because mm -hmm. I'm not a big frosting person, but the gray stuff is like really light and creamy. It's so good. And you think, oh, and it's see, a cupcake, and but it it's not. With. It's are included. When yes, you have yes. And they are, the they're like cupcakes 2.0. I mean, they're like, they're so good. And They're on a so cupcake good. side note, because everyone should have a cupcake side <laughs> note, <laughs> the giant cupcakes count for snack credits if you're on the dining plan. And those suckers are like, you know, that's not a small cupcake. No. That's a big cupcake, and you can get those with your snack credits. It's a very yeah. good use of the snack right, credit. Get that rose gold cupcake to match those uh -huh. rose gold. Yes, that is correct. I saw those for the first time yesterday. They're so pretty. <laughs> and ginormous. They are huge. They're the size of your face. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> Lauren, where did you see him? I know you went to Epcot, but where? We were at Epcot. It was at uh, Sunshine Seasons. Okay. They're in uh, Future World. Sunshine Seasons. Yeah. Yeah, one of my one of my favorites, Sunshine Seasons. They have really mm -hmm. beautiful pastries and cakes there anyway. But that was that one. That one and the Flower and Garden one. Those are my top two favorite because they actually have flowers on the edible flowers on the cupcake. Oh, fabulous! Yeah. Brandy says, she "Ooh, I can't wait." Eating this? No, no, Brandy. No. You'll just pace yourself. You'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Everything. <laughs> so dessert, definitely, because it's included, is, is a great reason. All right, Lauren, give me a reason for the dining plan. I love that it is all-inclusive. Like you, you, um, you pay for everything up front, and the minute you step on property, there's literally, there's no thought. It's just, they just take care of you. So your resort is included and your dining is included and you don't have to think about, and you know, when you've had a travel planner, stress-free. And so um, it's, it's what a vacation should be because you, you're not having to plan everything and think about where I'm going to go to eat dinner and, um, it's just done for you. And, yep, and there's, no, done. there's no, there's no payment. I mean, you just swipe your little magic band and you're done. So it's great. Well, you know, Disney. Okay. So I have a breakdown of the cost of the Disney dining plan mm -hmm. and they roughly give or take a few cents um, for an adult is $75 per day. Okay. Per person uh, per day. And mm -hmm. if you think about that, you, you talk about being an all inclusive, it actually ends up, um, it actually ends up saving you money, particularly if you know how to do it right. Now, again, that's what a travel planner is for. The, one of the things that I think that we can pride ourselves on is that we know how to maximize the magic for the dollars that you're spending. That is correct. Get the most value for mm -hmm. your vacation dollar, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So I do love that um, uh, that 
you know, it, it does save you money, but not only does it save you money, I mean, let's just face it. I mean, we all live on some sort of budget, no matter where you fall in, in the, the, the class or whatever you want to call that. But, you know, I know when I'm on the Disney dining plan, I'm definitely going to be ordering the steak and the lobster instead of this chicken and the shrimp. <laughs> and I think that's what I love about it because it's costing me the exact same no matter what I'm ordering and you find that value in there. Um, again, you know, I'll never forget, ever, ever forget the first time I went to Disney on the dining plan. It's been oh, a few years ago and I sat down at Teppan Ito and which by the way is an Epcot great, a great spot in my opinion. Japanese. Yum. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was cult. I was not cultured at that time in my life. Not that I'm really that cultured now, but <laughs> um, they handed me a wet towel, and I was like, "What's this for?" <laughs> yeah, clean your hands. I went, "Oh, okay." They don't do that back in Southeast Tennessee when you go to the restaurant. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, but yeah, and they gave me the menu and the, they were like, yeah, you're on the dining plan. You can order whatever you want. And I was like, I'll take the lobster. <laughs> you know, yeah, but, you will. <laughs> yeah. That, that really is a, a great, great addition to the dining plan is because you do, you do order what you want. It's like, it's being luxurious is it gives you this, this way of actually kind of saving money, but also stepping up the luxury of your vacation, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of leads into what my second, which is kind of closely related to is you don't, you know, everyone who's planning a vacation, you obviously you want the most bang for your buck and you want to be value conscious. You want to be aware of your budget, I guess, especially, you know, people with families I and mean, everybody's going to you know, pay attention to their budget, but you don't want to have to do that on your vacation. And when you go ahead and pay up front for everything, mm -hmm. um, everything you're not having everything. to look at the price and think, well, you know, $25 a day per person, if you know, or whatever. And, and trying to think all that. No, you just sit down and you, you let them take care of you and you order your lobster or whatever it is. You pick out the most expensive thing on the menu and enjoy it, whatever that is. Yes. Pick out the most expensive thing. <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I agree with that. And that's one of mine too, is that if you are paying attention to your budget, having your meals paid for ahead of time takes a lot of the stress off of when you're on vacation. Cause that's already done. Everything is done. You just set aside whatever money for souvenirs. That's up to you. Some people like yeah. to pinch a penny. I like to spend a penny, but you know, <laughs> thing is done, you know, so you don't have to be constantly counting stuff and get the receipt and the whole the whole thing it's already paid for yeah you it, go relax and enjoy yourself yeah it, it really does bring a level of relaxation and with that said brandy asked she said is the dining plan put on your magic but yes absolutely yes, yes. every yeah. time um every time that's an apple watch <laughs> <laughs> hey listen in my world <laughs> in my world this would be <laughs> it is a magic band <laughs> well, it is magical. Oh, I don't know if that will work. Here, this here's my little. Yeah. <laughs> you just boop it. You boop it. That's my word. <laughs> so yeah, Brandy, that's the every time you have dinner, either you or your husband will scan it, and um, there's well, there's some logistics to it as far as a pin number and all that kind of stuff. But yep, you don't even have to carry your wallet into the park with you. I just always think you do Henry, need your ID if you're going to get one of those lovely adult beverages. Yes. Put your ID in your pocket if you plan to partake. I actually have Henry carry my ID in his wallet, so I don't. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yep. that's what I do. Okay, so we've talked about how it, it really is, in a sense, a great way to help with your budgeting, that it is really a money saver. And um, to go back to that about money saving, you know, like I said, it's $75 per adult per day. Well, you're thinking, I'm not going to spend $75 on a meal, but you got to think you're getting two meals. You're getting a table service meal. You're getting a quick service meal. You're getting two snacks, two snacks, and you get that resort refillable mug. And if you are taking children with you, the number one thing that gets requested of us is to get those character dinings. And mm -hmm, yes. those evening character dinings, the dinner meals, those using the dining plan is going to save you a lot of money. 
I mean, it just, yeah. it's, it's like, what is it like? It's like 15. To it's 15. like six. Yeah, it can be yeah. the dining, the dinner time meals can be up to $60 for an yeah. right there. If you're spending $75 a day, like you've already made yeah. your money back just by doing that, forgetting all the other food. So, okay, real quick pop question since I got you here and you guys, they don't know I'm going to ask them this guys. So tell me like when I say this first thing that pops in your head, favorite character dining for dinner. Tusker house. Oh, oh. I was gonna you say like that. that too, because it's um, it is. It's such yeah, a hidden see my gem, movie. in my opinion. Yeah, I love the safari, the yeah. safari Mickey, safari Goofy. I love the food. It's so yeah, cool. The food is the really good, and they have Animal lots of Kingdom just... is just such a cool place. Yeah. And then Tusker House, they did a great job blending more traditional stuff with more family friendly stuff. So there is something for everybody on the day. So don't be afraid. The description says there's a lot of African food and stuff like that. And there are some, and that's, you know, but there's something for everybody. Yeah. And the characters really take their time yeah. to hang out at the table and do pictures, and it's just awesome. I love and it. The servers it's are really great, favorite. too. We've had, we've had multiple experiences there with really, really good servers. So there so. you go. Two votes for Tusker House, and yeah. we didn't even know. We didn't even plan yeah. it. Mine's <laughs> 1900 Park Fair. Ooh, for that's breakfast a good dinner. 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 Yes, Oh, dinner. dinner. I've never done dinner there uh, before. Well, okay, so I'm a big fan of uh, the Lady Tremaine and the stepsisters. Yes. Oh yeah. They yes. they tend they um they appeal to my snarkiness. <laughs> <laughs> They're so funny. They're so funny. Yeah, yeah, Nicole says that. Yeah, the food at Tusker House is good. I I have said this as of recent, and, and my love for Animal Kingdom is growing. Um, it mm -hmm. used to be the part. That, yeah, it's like it's like. Um, it used to be the park that I actually still had to look a map at. Look, I'd have to look to a map. Because um, yeah. I just, it was like that park that I went to. I was like, yeah, I really like it here. It's really nice. It's got some great attractions. It's, the theming is fantastic. But, like, you know, I was just like, eh, it's great. It was kind of like my fourth day. I was always like, yeah. yeah, you know, I don't know. And now, quickly becoming my favorite park. It's, yeah, I love it. It's a good so, one. So much. It really is. So it's, much. I think it's the most beautiful, and it's um, yes with all that shade and the trees, and it's it's very yeah. It's it's a lovely park. I like it. Yeah, well, I agree. The food, just the food. Oh, I know. Across the park, and then when you add in Animal Kingdom Lodge to it, I mean, you just forget it. It's the yeah between Tusker House and I mean even um, Flame Tree Barbecue. You know, they've got great ribs. I mean, which is not even the type of food I'm talking about because the African. Asian Indian mix of food. Yeah. It's just yeah. fantastic. But anyway, I didn't mean to go down that. Down. <laughs> it's all good. My mouth is watering. I love yeah. So good. I love the Satuli Canteen over in Pandora is so good. So I thought, <laughs> okay, I'm going to try it. The food is weird. No, no, the food is delicious. <laughs> it is it. weird, but it's go. also delicious. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. And I'm so excited that now that you can, speaking of dining plan, you can order on your mobile ordering oh yeah, yeah yeah i've been putting that in my clients touring plans actually yep. when i put in notes because i you know i use the online stuff and so i've actually been putting in notes to save time make sure you use mobile ordering just use your app you'll find it figure it out you know kind of thing it's yeah. so convenient and it's a great thing to do if you do have to wait in a line you can figure out okay we're gonna get off the ride what does everybody want to eat you ride your ride you walk over there Click the button and they make it for you right then. It saves so, so much time. It's awesome. So, um, a, uh, Nicole says that she loves Animal, Animal Kingdom is fabulous. She loves the flora and fauna. Yes, me yes. too. It's so pretty just for walking around. Okay. Just, it's just gorgeous. Oh, okay. I see what she's saying. I was like, what is she talking about? <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Um, Mobile ordering Dole Whips are the way to go. Yeah, Hello. That's right. <laughs> I never even I thought so about that. Yeah. That's so funny. I knew you could do that in the Magic Kingdom, but I didn't even think about doing it at the, at the yeah. corner with, there. Ding, 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 with ding, ding, ding. rum. With rum. Yeah. <laughs> I had one of those yesterday. I never would have thought to do that because I just always think about saving time to get through, yeah, the, yeah. through all the crap. It's fantastic. And they just added that you can uh, use your dining plan with mobile ordering. It used to be only credit cards, but now you can, if you have a Disney dining plan, you Perfect. can do it too. So, so there's another bonus for having that. Even more convenient than it was before. Yeah. yeah that's yep. nice. 
Yep. All right. So I think we've gotten through two reasons. <laughs> why, <laughs> <think so. laughs> yep. Two reasons of why you should use the Disney dining plan. So now let's go with our third one. So whoever wants to go up next. Well, my well, third one was character meals. So you, you covered mine. <laughs> So we all agree character meals are, are total value on the, on the dining. Yeah. 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 They're nice. Mine was, I didn't realize you were going to ask. I didn't realize we were talking only about Disney dining. And so my third reason was, um, it's a really, if you do the Disney deluxe dining, you are literally getting three full meals a day. And so, you can make that a quick service if you want, or you can go to three signature dining places a day if you want. And that, that, that's amazing. Cause you really get your, you really get your signature meals in there. Well, and, um, that, and those, yeah, I was going to actually touch on that just a little bit was to talk about how you can get those signature dinings. In yeah. The okay. Um, again, I, I did it and it was, uh, Henry, I don't know if I would do it with my children. I have to agree there. I'm going to say if you're thinking about sitting down for three table service meals, that's a total of three hours plus yeah. of your day that you're going to be yeah. sitting down. So this would be one of the what's not so hot about the dining plan is if you want to do that, you're going to eliminate some time you would be spending on other things like rides or attractions right. in favor of food, which in my opinion is totally OK. I think food is for sure. Parks. But yes. some people who are looking forward to the rides more maybe might not want to do that many sit down. It's I feel it's just like an adult vacation or an adult weekend. A hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. Do it. Sit down and relax and eat all the food and enjoy for yeah. sure. I do think the deluxe dining is, is better at one for people who um, are not going to Disney for the first time. Yes. yes. Y you know, you don't, y you know, that's what Henry and I did it. Uh, purely for research purposes. Uh, <laughs> and you got to know what you're talking about. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and we did. We learned a lot with the deluxe dining plan. And and I think if maybe if Minnie, the, our 14 year old was with us, she would have been cool because she, she, I mean, we always know we're going back to Disney. So if you miss anything, that's fine. But if you're an every four year Disney vacationer, which I think is right. pretty, pretty average for every four to five years, um, you know, that may not be the the best choice for, best choice for you. Um, I will tell you this, in my opinion, on the deluxe dining. I can eat a lot of food, and I do mean I can eat a lot of food, probably unhealthy amount of food. Um, and sitting down for three table service meals in one day is way more food that I could do. So Henry and I both agree that what you should do is book a breakfast that's a table service, book a dinner, 12 hours later ah. for, and then do quick service in between and you will come home probably with lots of snacks. Yeah. <laughs> lots of, yeah. and a couple extra pounds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A couple of Ross crispy treats in your, um, in your, in your, uh, Yay. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> I look forward to bringing this home. So, but yeah, deluxe dining is, is awesome. Um, and that is, that's it. That's a great, re it, the signature dining is a great reason to do deluxe dining. And that sort of goes to one of the, what's, uh, what's not is that, you know, when I've got clients who are coming down and they're dead set, you know, on seeing uh, to Cinderella's Royal table, that's two dining credits. California grill is two. Yeah. And I just don't know how much, I mean, I've been to both. Um, both are wonderful. I would go back again in a heartbeat, but I'm not so sure that that's necessarily worth taking two dining credits if you're going to have to end up paying for another meal. Right. But they are. They're excellent, excellent meals. The California Grill is oh, amazing. Um, well, that would be a good reason to get the deluxe because then you would have so many credits right. that it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't take away from you yeah. enjoying as many meals as you want. Yeah. And I don't know that I would want to eat deluxe for seven days, but if you're going to do like a two or a three, like a three day weekend or something, having a deluxe dining plan added on would be a really great yeah. splurge weekend. Right, right, so right. Then yeah. you'd come home and you're not rolling. Jessica <laughs> just chimed, uh, chimed in and she said it is worth it if you have the deluxe dining. You're exactly right, Jessica. I know, Jessica, you guys, you and your husband just recently did the deluxe dining plan, or at least I thought you were doing it. Um, 
because we chatted about it briefly. And I kind of wonder what you think. What do you think? Uh, breakfast in the morning, dinner at night, and kind of snack in between? Because this is a lot of food. If, again, 100% worth it. I would do it again. To sit down at Sanaa and eat as much food as I ate at Sanaa. Oh, Sanaa. That's good food. <laughs> best, best experience. I will go back. Dining plan. That's good. The bread service. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I can't yeah. decide if it's the bread so much that I love about Indian food or the spice. Oh, I love naan. <laughs> naan bread. Oh, yeah, I love Indian food. All the spices. We cook it a lot here, but not having to. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so about one of my reasons for is actually um, I have a lot of clients who stay at value resorts. And one of the, what I think is a bummer, um, about a value resort and one reason why I think you should probably upgrade to moderate is in a regular value resort You don't get a coffee maker um, That may have changed for pop century though There, pop there is one in pop coffee. century. Yeah, yeah. pop mm -hmm. just added uh, not all of the rooms in pop century have been yeah. renovated yet So if that's million. important make sure you ask your travel planner yeah. to yeah. to request you one of the upgraded rooms Yes, you know? yeah but if you're staying in a value resort and you don't have a coffee maker in your room, that resort refillable mug is gotta get that coffee. Feel. Yeah. I mean, I one of my yeah. favorite things <laughs> is I'm just sort of an observer and a watcher of people's behavior. And every morning, the line of parents walking <laughs> with their resort refillable mugs <laughs> in the quick service dining area to get that coffee, get coffee. every morning yep. at the crack of dawn. I love it. It's like my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, I think, I think that's really part of the value though. You know, that resort refillable mug when you want that coffee every morning instead of having to pay a dollar 50 or I don't even know how much it is. I've never paid for it. Either. You know? Yeah. Um, to get that coffee, I think I think that's and it's good coffee, isn't it? Jeffries, don't they don't they all serve Jeffries? Jeffrey, is it Jeffries or Jeffries? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good coffee. By the way, it's a change. It didn't used to always be that. It was reconstituted coffee. Oh, it used to be. Yeah, I wasn't good. Mm. I'm just telling you. <laughs> It's good now. Yes. And and now you can get as much of it as you want. Yes. And, have that mug. and I do. Two or three. <laughs> you can have two or three. Yeah. yeah. And then your kids can have, if they're not coffee drinkers, they can have their milk or their juice. But there, there's mm -hmm. also, like, you can do hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. they have I hot always chocolate. enjoy getting hot chocolate with their mugs. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's just a great, we were talking about the, my husband and I were talking about the, the mugs earlier about, <laughs> about those. Because, we probably have 25 of these or more in our pantry right now yes. because we, we do dining and you guys probably understand, but we love them. We use them all the time. So it really is the gift that keeps on giving. Um, you get to use it after your trip as well. I still have a Fort Wilderness mug back when they used to. Um, That's cool. Yeah. I held on to that one. <laughs> like I won't let it go because you know, my heart is at Fort Wilderness. We're staying there for the first time next month. Are you still Yay. Yeah. yeah, we got a cabin. Oh, you're cool. cool. Yeah. I love it. It's great. Just take advantage of all the things that are at Fort Wilderness. Because that's what makes it wonderful, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, and I agree. Cool. There's it's so cool. much to do. Yeah. 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 I could do, literally, I could sit for an hour and talk about how much I love Fort Wilderness. <laughs> oh, well, then I will let you do that. Okay, put it on the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> you will. You will. So, coming to you, all about Fort Wilderness. Maybe, maybe I'll do that one on the Sunday that I'm at Fort Wilderness in July. Oh. That would be awesome. Oh, Jeremy Epperson, who um, I actually have booked a vacation with him at Fort Wilderness. I'm sure I'm going to be booking another one soon for them for Fort Wilderness. They love it. They love it. Yeah. Yeah. Fort. That's right. I call it the fort. I lovingly call it the fort. <laughs> so, all right. So then I've really, we've kind of gone through, do you guys have anything you want to add as far as why you should absolutely get the dining plan? Something on your list that we may have missed? I don't have, I have a couple of shouldn'ts. Say again. I'm sorry. I have, I have two more. Don't, don't do it. If okay. You. So yeah. one of them is Let's some places aren't on the Disney dining plan. You cannot, I mean, Disney has, I, what would you say? Like at least 75% of what's on property you can use for dining plan. But there are a few places that you can't. Um, 
go to that you would have to end up paying out of pocket. And my last don't do it would be if you just aren't a foodie, like if you don't care. Then, oh, that's true. If you just want to grab and go, and yeah. go into the park and save that book. Um, Disney has wonderful food, but if it's just not on your priority list, then don't spend, don't spend the money for it. No, I agree. You know, and also, I, I, you know, I have a family member whose daughter, um, she, she's a really picky eater. She's six or seven years old. And, you know, if you've got a couple of kids with you that are not going to eat, right, except for whatever you bring into the park with you, you know, a Smucker's and a juice pack or whatever and some goldfish, then it may not be. It, it, it might, in fact, actually save some money by not yep. doing the dining plan. And I think, you know, in, in, in all transparency, we as travel planners are never, we're, we're going to advise you what's best for you and your family. Just feel free to ask those. I get that question all the time. Um, I actually use an online calculator that helps me kind of d- to tell people where they should go. And I'm going to tell you, 99% of the time, it says do the dining plan. Yeah. <laughs> there are a few instances where that is, in fact, true. Yeah. And you don't have to have a dining plan to get the reservations at the places that we mentioned. You can still go if oh, you don't yeah. have a dining plan. So, yeah. And we will still book them for you as early as possible. Yeah. So Jeremy, but I'm personally a fan of the dining plan. Yeah, I like it too. Jeremy Epperson said, can you give some examples that are not on the plan, like restaurants that are not on the plan? Um, hmm. I, and you know, I'd... I want to say that restaurant Epcot in the Moroccan area, uh, Moroccan Pavilion, I don't think that's on the dining plan. I could be wrong. Um, I know that there are certain places that we have not eaten because it's not on the dining plan. There's some places that, at Disney Springs too. Yeah, there's several Disney Springs it, yeah. that are um, not on the plan. But I can't think of any off the top of my head. I, I know, know that's terrible. Because you don't go there. <laughs> because we don't go there. Yeah, that's, yeah. Right. that's what I was thinking when you were saying that. I was like, gosh, I'm not even sure I know where they are because we don't go yeah. to them. Um, yeah. I don't and think I mean, that to be good. honest, we're not missing out. I mean, we're eating good food on the dining plan. That's what I was so. going to say is I don't think you're missing out. And I don't, and, and I can tell you this, you're not going to accidentally go to a restaurant that's not on the dining no. plan. No. Yeah. And those kind of restaurants are going to be so few and far between. Um, yeah that you were uh, not going to do that. So uh, Victorian Alberts is not on the dining plan. There you go. That's one. That's one. Not, and there are a couple of kiosks. Have you been to Victoria? Um, have you guys done Victorian? Has anybody here? I have not, not been there. Their food is a little bit more fine dining than my palate. Um, they do like the million and a half course meal that takes three hours. That's not my scene. However, I know a lot of people who would for sure enjoy that. It's very hard to get into. So that's definitely if you do like fine food, that is for sure one you want to go to. It always gets the four the four diamond rating every year. They win the awards for it. I mean, it's supposed to be fantastic. Yeah. I've got it on my on my count my planner. I'm gonna try to book one for October as soon as that opens up. They have a chef's kitchen there too, where they do that. You can eat in the kitchen with the chef, and that's what I want to. Do. Yeah, that's what you want to do. <laughs> they bring out the individual pairings for you and everything. Yeah, it's, it's oh, very yeah. swanky. Yeah, I would really, I would enjoy that. I think there's another. I may be getting this confused with Disney Cruise Line, but it seems like that there's another restaurant. Maybe uh, there's a handful of them that do chefs' tables throughout the year. Yeah, yeah, there's a few that you can do. I know Narcusis does one. Coast used to have one. I don't know if they still do. There's a couple. So there are some places. Ajiko has one, too, I think. Um, I would imagine those are probably not on the dining plan, the chef's tables. The chef's tables, yeah. No, I'm pretty sure they're not. You know what else is dining with an Imagineer? Yeah, the dessert parties are not covered by the dining plan. So if you want to do a dessert party, that's going to be out of pocket. And also the the dining with an Imagineer. My my Disney heart just wants to do that. Every time I'm like, we should do that. And it just never works out, or it's not an imagine. Oh, did you? Uh, maybe you guys know this, but um, so uh, at Tiffins, they're doing some kind of special dining at Tiffins for a period of time, where they bring in people to talk about the culture. Um, maybe it's the African culture or something. Oh, that's, oh, cool. that's cool. And yeah. One of the people that's on that list, and only one name I recognize, was Joe Rody. 
Oh, man. How can I get that one? <laughs> How can I get that reservation? Holy moly, yeah. Oh, he is the mastermind behind Animal Kingdom. I, Joe Rody and Animal Kingdom are like synonymous. Uh, that's yeah. just... How cool would that be to sit there and listen to him? I have a, a guy I sing in the choir with at church who's actually met him because um, he was at Animal Kingdom. I, I'm pretty sure it's when they were building uh, Pandora. Yeah, Tracy did too. She got a picture with him because they when they launched all the nighttime experiences before Pandora opened. I bet that's cool. like the the Harambe party and all that kind of stuff. It, she was there for a, a big press party and she got to meet him. Yeah, that would, it would be cool to meet him. So Amanda Epperson says that her problem is in July when it's so hot she doesn't eat a lot. She just basically yep. eats fruit. And she said when she would um, she went with um, colder than the food plan. Oh yeah, she went when it was colder, a little bit not so hot outside. The food plan would work for you. See, and that's what you need to know about yourself is mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, you know, if it's hot, then you know I'm I'm you don't necessarily want to do that. So Nicole said the Tiffin talks. Our intimate dining experiences that allow guests to enjoy special food and beverages that complement the topics shared by animal and conservation experts. That's cool. Nicole. That's awesome. When I read about that, I was like, and Tiffin's is a pretty, um, I think it's a pretty adventurous place to eat. I've read, I've looked at the menus. I haven't. Yeah, it seems, it seems good. I can't wait to try their vegetarian. They have a, the autumn root vegetable something rather cool. i've seen photos it looks so good i know <laughs> uh, oh brandy says what's the average weather in the middle of october i'm just gonna be honest with you brandy it's hot hot i was just there in february and i was so wetting through my clothes it was hot in february it's hot yeah it is it's hot, hot. yeah <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> okay. I'm a, hey, I, full disclosure, I'm a Florida native, born and raised. And I'm new here. I, I did a, a bunch of years there, and my, my personal limit was about it's hotter than 80 degrees. It's a little bit too hot for me in the middle of the day, and I get oh. cranky. Oh, yeah. So that's my cutoff. And when I was there in February, it was 85, 86, 87 every day. And the middle of the day was like, it was huh. bad. Now I can handle that would be a, that would be a fantastic time to book a nice long sit down table service lunch. That's true. You can sit That's down true. in the air conditioning, and they will bring you all the cold beverages, and you take your sweet time having lunch. So that's a good way to to combat yeah. it. Nap, and then you go back. I yeah. If you can fit a nap in, you should nap because napping is one of life's great pleasures. <laughs> it is vacation. <laughs> So, exactly. You gotta exactly. Get up early to to skip that lot li- those lines or skip the uh, get past those long lines. So you got to take a nap during the day. All right. Well, I think that's about everything, and we've done good. We've stayed right at under an hour. I'm kind of looking through all my notes. And oh, Nicole says that Joe Rody is going to be there April 25th. Well, that's in the middle of tea oh. testing, so I don't think I'm going to be able to make that one. <laughs> I can. <laughs> you have to right, go. No, no. You have to go. <laughs> you need to get on that. Please report I'm back. Bad. You have to go for all of us that can't make it. You owe it to us. <laughs> oh, my well, goodness. Okay. It's for research, like Rita said, right? Absolutely. Oh, I have incredible. to. It's my job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And that's at Tiffin's. Is that right? Yeah. At Tiffin's. Oh, yeah. So Heather says um, she spent the first week of October there last this past year, and only afternoons were hot. We dodged rainstorms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. It does rain in the afternoon there. Nicole, and let me tell you, oh, riding um, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad in the middle of the down is so much more fun than Splash Mountain. <laughs> Doesn't it hurt your face? It did. Like little like, needles. It was. It was awful. We got off that thing. We looked like we'd been dunked underwater. Or we were squishing as we walked. It's the most, I will say it's the most fun I've ever had on that ride, ever. It was just, I don't want people to think not to go in October. October is actually a fantastic oh, no, no. time to go. It is really wonderful. You it's need to wonderful. know that in Florida, it rains in the afternoon every day at 3 o'clock from May until like mid-October to November. It's yeah. just going to happen. It comes through like the Dickens and it goes out like the Dickens. Yeah, so. it's like five, ten minutes and it's done. Exactly. Yeah. It looks like the sky is going to break and then yeah. a few minutes later it's done. So don't let that dissuade you. October yeah. is a fantastic time to go. It really is. I mean, you said it's hot. 
but it's just perfect. I think it's perfect. Yeah, it's my preferred time of the year to vacation there. Yeah. My schedule's sort of limited because, you know, being a teacher and all. And so if I've got to pick, I'm going to go in October. I don't even go. I mean, yeah. I like going during spring. I think the weather for spring break is better. But, um, you know, I, I still prefer October. Amanda says, I prefer the unless you're there during a tropical depression. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, oh. There's, that was a little <laughs> bit different. But, you know, that happens yeah. so rarely that people really should not be concerned about planning their trip around a vacation. I actually have been there, Amanda, during a tropical depression myself, and it rained for 24 hours straight. And I was I was good um, for almost all that time. The, at one point, we were at the park, and it had already it had rained that 24 hour period, and then it was like the next day, and it was raining on and off. And I got about halfway through the next day, and I went. Okay, I'm ready to go rest. <laughs> but it does. The lines the lines are like blah. I was about to say, that's like the best time to go in the park yeah. is when it's raining because nobody's there and you just but it's I'm, like your own park. <laughs> I'm telling you though, that tropical depression, when I say it rained twenty four hours straight, I mean like literally wow. it was a downpour for twenty four hours. I'll wow. never forget that because we rode um I've got video of it. I'll try to put it up sometime. We were riding uh the uh, people mover the TTA or whatever they call it and um I <laughs> took video of people out on the autopia or the uh it's not autopia the speedway and they were driving their little cars in the pouring down rain oh um, wow <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but yeah it's like it's a good time for as far as uh the you know the temperature is not that high and then you know nobody's there so uh, trying doing that in a pop-up camper. Jeremy and Amanda, I have not told y'all um, my experience last two summers ago when our tent got blown down. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, uh, boy. Yeah, we proceeded to call Disney and said, do you have any cabins available? <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, boy. Yeah, no more tents at Disney ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Only campers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was so uh, scary. I'll tell you some other stuff. All <laughs> right. Well, I guess that's it. I don't have Henry here for any trivia. Y'all didn't bring any trivia with you, did you? No, but I might know. Okay. Something. Hit us. Uh, what you got? I don't um, know. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't have anything. <laughs> that you're going to ask me questions. And I can, no, like, I'm like, do I have oh. any trivia? I'm like, do um, Trivia. Yeah. I don't have anything off the top of my head. Why don't this. we each show, are you at your desk now, Lauren? Are you at your I desk? Am. Okay. Why don't we each show our favorite Disney memorabilia piece right at our desk? How about that? Oh, do you yeah. have something that you just love? I do. What do you so, have? I keep this little glass box here and this has all of my pins <gasps> from the oh. every time we go somewhere. I love it. So what a great for your trips. Isn't that awesome? Gosh, pins are such a fantastic souvenir. I try yeah. to get one for each trip we go for something special that happened while we were there. Yeah. It's it's nice. I like them. And That's I just cool. Them and I just, you know, take them off in time. I remember that trip. That was fun. Yeah, that's cool. I don't, I've got some weird things. Yeah, Rita's got like. Oh, yeah, she's got lots of, of stuff. Yeah, yeah she's oh, got I have another one. This one's not super Disney, but when you go to Japan, the store in Japan, yeah, and you get your, I guess your your sign of the year of the dragon, and that's like my little luck dragon, and so I just keep them up there. I love this. All right, I got one that's associated. Pardon me if you guys are looking at my reader. Um, <laughs> so I've got one associated. Two things here. All right. So, this right here. Okay. Um, this past year was my, 2017 was my first time going to Disneyland, which was a most definitely a bucket list. Item. Oh, yeah. And also the D23 Expo. Again, bucket list item. Like, I... Cool. That's cool. Go. But yes. Fantasmic mm -hmm. was closed because they were redoing it. And when I was at the Parks and Recreation... Um, like the, the announcements, 
they announced that we got to go see the opening of Fantasmic. I about cried because that's part of the reason why I was in the Kingdom, and I was like, yeah. I hate that I'm not going to be able to see this. And so I got to see the opening of it. And then the other thing, this is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> What do we have here? This is from the Luau at the Polynesian. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, okay. So when Henry and I went to, uh, on our adult only trip, we went to the Luau for research purposes, of course. And, um, one of the parts of the Luau is they like, they do all these, you know, traditional dances from different islands or I'm butchering what they actually do. Forgive me. But, one of the things that they do is uh, they do this little dance and they put this out on the on the stage because it's considered a piece of offering or something like that. And so I was picked to get it. Ooh. I keep it. Cool. To remind me of that trip. Okay, Sarah, what about you? Well, I've got, it's not from Disney, but it is Disney related. I'm very, um, I'm a very uh, scent specific person i scent is really important to me and experiences and so i have this candle i don't know if i can get oh, let's see if i can put it up it is rome burning so oh, this yeah, is yeah, smell that's a from the inside of spaceship earth this is probably yeah. my favorite smell in all of walt disney i have a lot of favorite smells at walt disney world i have a lot but this is probably my favorite 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 and when i'm here working on client plans believe it or not i put this open this up and set it next to the side of my computer and it heats up a little bit smells real good and then i'm thinking about being on spaceship earth so that's my little geek out moment right there now again not from disney the company is then now they're called spire side is the name of the company they just changed their name recently so they have a lot of good smells so I've always yeah. Oh, I could do a whole show on the smells of Walt Disney World. My oh, yeah. goodness. Oh, we could there do There are that. so many that I love. I got a nice little science lesson from my daughter about why Pirates of the Caribbean smells the way it does and like living with the land and all of those mm-hmm. rides that I call the musty water smell. Um, but there's a Romy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Romy. I love it. I love the way it smells. I love the way it smells too. Nothing smells like pirates. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> we digress. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's nothing like a smell that takes you straight back to your childhood, and uh, Pirates of the Caribbean is is the smell is the yeah only one of them for sure. Do they do they have, sure. they don't have a pirate? Do they they don't have the they do pirate. yeah they do they have a haunted mansion one too. Oh. All of the lobbies at all the hotels, like you know the way the the Grand Floridian or the Contemporary, the way the lobby smell, the beach club, all have their own signature scents and they all have them that you can, that you can have to take home. So, and then they had one for Soren. Now, I don't know if they've changed it since Soren, or Soren around the world. Um, cause now it has new smell to go with the Just new, each one, yeah. the new movie. Yeah. yeah. But the new favorite? smells are fantastic too. I love, oh God, I don't have, I love them all. I love them all. <laughs> sandy grass when the elephants are running yeah, and they're kicking good. out the dust and i love the the sort of coconutty tropical smell when you're going over the the southern pacific islands i suppose the yeah. non-specific southern pacific islands of wherever we are yeah exactly yeah. and it's just so fantastic oh i love it anything that i I'm a appreciate jasmine girl. yeah when scent is included in something for me it's a big deal because for me, it's something that completes the immersive experience. Which is another reason why Flight of Passage is so amazing. <laughs> yeah, there's no smells on Guardians of the Galaxy breakout. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the a good thing. smell of fear and screaming, whatever <laughs> smell that is. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's not scary because it is. I know, I know, party. I know. That's, that I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I tell people, I'm like, it's not scary like um, Tower of Terror because, like, you're anticipating the fear in Tower of Terror, but in Guardians of the Galaxy, you're like, how, how can I dance with the seatbelt on? This <laughs> is <laughs> like, this is holding me back. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, Heather says, have any, have any of you tried the new line of candles that argue smells of disney maybe i'm reading maybe that was a mistype i'm not sure 
I'm not sure. I don't know if you can. There's a couple different like, candle lines that have smells of Disney. Um, that's just the one that I stumbled upon because the Rome burning smell is just my favorite, favorite, favorite. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. See, you know what? Face. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Does it smell the same as pirates? I didn't even notice. I never really thought about it. Is it the same smell as the burning scene in pirates? No. No. It's a different smell. Has a different tinge. Heather, that is what we're talking about right now. Is is the what's it called again? Spire side. Fire side. Fire side is what it's called. It used to be called something else, and it, they recently changed their name a few months ago to Spire side. And they have candles, and they have wax melts too. I think they have sample I packs. I mean, I'm associated with them in any way. I'm I'm not being them. I just really love smell, and so they have they have some uh, to me authentic smells that I enjoy at home because bit more Disney at home when I'm not there is something that I love so yeah and they have been around for for quite quite a while I remember when they came out but they like you said I think they were called something else so yeah there's a couple companies that offer different smells from Disney and I haven't tried products from other companies I'm sure they're also very good yes yes (laughs) I just want to (laughs) say with that said I think we will end on this note (laughs) So okay. next week, it's going to be the three of us again. Am I right? Yeah. Cool. With more juicy details of all the super duper fun that's coming up next year. That's right. So I remember, um, <laughs> you're watching this all the way to the end on the replay. Thank you, that. by the way, for listening on for this long. Now, go type <laughs> flower in the comment bar if you haven't yet. Type flower. flower. Get the details. And there is more information to come. So come back next week and we will tell you even more exciting, fabulous developments. You're definitely going to want to join us. Absolutely. And we're going to be going in. We're going to dig into our favorite things about Boardwalk Inn. So that's a wonderful. And there's a lot of them. Resort. um, And, you know, it's anyway. So come and join us next week. Share this with your friends. Make sure that you go to the top some corner. I don't know what corner, right corner of your screen (laughs) and you click it in to get your notifications so that you will be ready for us when we are live next week. Ladies, this has been a blast. I, you know, I. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, Yeah. um, I hate that Henry missed out on it, but boy, you guys definitely did a great job. So I'm so, so appreciated that. Oh yeah. My pleasure. This was awesome. I can't wait to do it all again next week. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Absolutely. All right, guys. You all have a magical week, and we will see you at 830 Walt Disney World time. All right. Have a fantastic week.